If you're a diehard directioner or just a fan of pop music, then you already know that Niall Horan landed a spot in the juggernaut boy band One Direction after competing on The X Factor. But there's more to this pop music crush turned solo artist than meets the eye. This is the untold truth of Niall Horan. When he was just five years old, Niall Horan's parents divorced. But while most kids end up living with whichever parent is deemed best for them, Horan made the decision of who he would live with himself. Although he and his brother Greg initially split their time between their mom, Maura, and their dad, Bobby, they made the decision just a little later to live with their dad full time, according to the Daily Record. Summers were spent kicking football around until the sun went down at 10 o'clock. But Niall and his mom apparently still have a great relationship. Maura once said via the outlet, it makes me very emotional seeing what he's doing. It really is changing his life. It's so huge. What else could a mother ask for her child? It's mind blowing. Last weekend, he met the Obamas. So the child's mind must be blown with what he's getting to see and do. Even with all the success her son has experienced, Maura says fame hasn't changed him. She added, he has a great head on his shoulders. He's very humble humble. While he was still a student, Horan unsurprisingly enjoyed his music classes, and during the annual Christmas Carol concert, he stood out as a clear star. According to Niall Horan, the unauthorized biography, the book revealed, with his cherubic face and sweet voice, he certainly looked and sounded the part of the classical choir boy. A teacher called Anne Caulfield first noted Niall's vocal ability. There's pictures of me as a child, like, playing little play guitars and singing into microphones and kind of a bit of, I suppose, a little bit of a show off. But Horan's teacher wasn't the only one who realized that he had some serious vocal talent. Apparently, while driving with his aunt when he was younger, Horan began singing a Garth Brooks song. His rendition was so impressive that his aunt thought she was hearing the radio. When she figured out it was actually Horan belting out the tune, she knew in that moment that he was going to become something special. According to the biography, Horan was just 16 years old when he first auditioned for The X Factor, going on to become part of One Direction. I'm Niall Horan, I'm 16, I'm from the Mullingar in the Midlands of Ireland. But the jam-packed schedule that surely came along with his role in the boy band prevented him from experiencing a few things that normal kids get to do. He told J14, I didn't even get to go to my prom. While that's certainly a little sad, it's not an uncommon occurrence for kids who get an early start in the industry. But it turns out it wasn't the only thing he missed out on. He also didn't finish school. Thankfully, he's been a massive success without the high school diploma and has even proven his knack for teaching himself the things that he didn't pick up in class. Fans of One Direction know that Horan was the group's, quote, resident musician, as Bustle put it. They also added, He's played the guitar during some of their concerts and was even featured on some tracks on the group's album, Midnight Memories. But did you know that he taught himself to play guitar at just 12 years old? After picking up the instrument that his uninterested older brother got for Christmas, Horan soon got the hang of things. He became so adept that he even taught bandmate Harry Styles how to do a little strumming. And Horan could maybe also show Styles how to play the piano. After Horan took to social media to share a live video of himself tickling the ivories, a fan hopped onto Twitter to ask, Niall, how do you manage to play this well on the piano? Did you teach yourself or take some lessons? To that, Niall responded, I've never had a lesson or actually know what chords I'm playing. I play a guitar chord and try and match up the notes wise to make the chord. Then my right hand plays a lot of the melodic stuff. Aside from his duties as a famous pop star, Horan has to deal with a health issue that affects people from all walks of life. He admitted back in 2018 while chatting with Nova FM's Kent Smallsy Small, I struggle with the old acid reflux. As for what that means for the star, Medical News Today describes the issue as a common condition that features a burning pain known as heartburn in the lower chest area. It happens when stomach acid flows back up into the food pipe. But while that might be a painful annoyance for most people, it's something that causes real problems when it comes to Horan singing. He said, Honestly, you're standing at the mic and obviously singing and opening your mouth and taking deep breaths allows the food to come up. So sometimes you just go burp all over the mic and it's not great. Things were actually so bad that the Irish Mirror reported that, quote, acid reflux threatens to stall Niall's solo singing career. That's why in 2016 he sought treatment for the condition. Sharing a photo of himself with monitors stuck to his chest, Niall wrote, hooked up at the doc's office. Acid reflux is no joke. 
One thing that Horan's fans love about him is his blonde hair. Girlfriend Magazine explained, each member of One Direction had their own unique thing. Zayn the broody one, Harry the adorable one, Louis the sassy one, Niall the blonde one. He was the only one in the band with these lighter locks, and he totally stood out because of it. But during an interview with the Zack Sang show in May 2017, the singer let the cat out the bag on his true hair color, pointing out that it takes around three hours to lighten his naturally brown hair each time he meets with a stylist. He added, it's just like waste of time. A pain, yeah. So did it start doing it when I was like twelve or thirteen? Oh wow! So ten years is a long time. Uh. Putting that crap in your hair. When Horan took a break from dyeing his hair and let his naturally brunette locks grow in, fans kind of lost it. Bustle reported, People online are either in love with the new do or are lamenting the good old days when the band was performing together and Horan's hair was a bright white blonde. His hardcore blonde hair loving fans may have not been so impressed, but that hasn't stopped Horan from sticking with what he likes. You might assume that Horan's got a bunch of other boy bands on his playlist, and just as many girl groups. While that may indeed be the case, it's also just as likely that he's listening to a little classic rock or a crooner-style tune. A fan of both the Eagles and Michael Bublé, Horan has shown up at a concert for the former, along with Harry Styles, and is known to praise the latter. Horan even revealed during an Ask Anything chat that if you listen closely, you'll recognize the Eagles' influence on his solo album, Flicker. I would say either the Eagles or Fleetwood Mac it, you can hear Fleetwood in a couple of songs and you can hear the Eagles as well. Buble once spoke about the boys of One Direction, telling the entertainment.ie site, Horan's a great kid. We talk a lot. Him and Liam Payne are the two boys I chat with, and it's actually really refreshing to see young guys like that get success and for them not to be <laughs> It's probably a testament to where he comes from and his family. In turn, Horan told ET Canada in 2017 of the singer, The greatest man. I want to grow up to be Michael Buble. It's official, Niall Horan is a believer. That's right, the former One Direction singer is a fan of the fellow pop star Justin Bieber, and he certainly isn't afraid to let everyone know it. Horan even tweeted praise for Bieber's music in 2012, with Billboard noting that the singer quote, playfully parodied Niall Horan's album cover on Instagram. While that might make it seem like the two stars are always in a light-hearted mood when it comes to their friendship, it turns out that the Irish performer actually feels bad for his Canadian counterpart. Horan told Glamour UK, You see solo stars and like I watched uh, Justin Bieber's new docuseries. People didn't realise the, the pressure that he was under. I can relate to that 100%. Explaining that the members of One Direction had each other to lean on when the pressure got to be too much. Horan noted that Bieber didn't have that type of situation. He added, I always felt sorry for Justin in that, in that respect. When Horan isn't busy making music, he can likely be found enjoying himself on the links. He told Virgin Radio Dubai, I'm a sports fan in general, and I watch a lot of sports, and when I was 12 or 13, I joined my local golf club and fell in love with golf then. According to a 2019 profile for today's golfer, Horan is apparently the quote, future of golf. That's because he doesn't just play the sport for fun, but he's also the co-founder of Modest Golf Management, which he launched in 2016. He told the outlet, Having the love for golf that I do was the reason I wanted to set up the company in the first place. And here we are three years later with some of the most influential people in golf. But fans can rest assured that he won't be giving up the stage for the green. According to the Brampton Guardian, at least not anytime soon. Not that I'm the greatest golfer ever, but I love the game and I would like more people to get into it. Horan may be famous thanks to his pop song worthy singing voice, but that's not the only vocal skill he possesses. Also adored for his unmistakable Irish accent. He just so happens to be able to pull off a range of accents from different cultures. Oh my god, I love Temple Bar. I go there for a Guinness, even though it costs $11. The star showed off his vocal skills while sitting down for a rather unusual chat with Jimmy Fallon in 2019. At the host's request, Horan performed a lively reading of a classic holiday story. Twas the night before Christmas. But with different accents that would pop up on the screen in front of him. Not a creature was stirring. Not even a wee little moose. <laughs> Luckily, the singer was up to the task, hitting up Scottish, Russian, Spanish, French, Brooklyn, and Australian dialects. He basically nailed the game and wowed his fans. It was freaking Santa Claus! <laughs> It's known that Horan is not fond of small enclosed spaces thanks to his claustrophobia. Even when they put like 
you know, like people yeah. get too close and stuff. I'm like, ah. But not as many know he also happens to hate birds, specifically pigeons. Yes, really. He told the son, I can't stand them after one once flew in through my bathroom window and went for me while I was having a wee. That was enough. I think pigeons target me. He even revealed that when it comes to performing, I get really nervous if pigeons are flying around before shows. However, Horan was willing to face his feathered fear during a March 2020 installment of James Corden's Carpool Karaoke. I think they're horrible. So I, like the, I don't like the fact that they're not scared of us until you get really close to them. People have to like run <laughs> at a flock of pigeons and like to make them move. For the sake of some good fun, Corden thought it might help if Horan held one of the flighty creatures and also have one placed on his shoulder and on his head. While Horan met the challenge, he was wary of one of the birds doing its business on him, which is totally understandable. I just had I can't three be pigeons responsible and one of them pooed on me. I can't be responsible <laughs> for their actions. Thanks to Horan's time in One Direction, he earned a massive fortune when he was just barely out of his teens. According to the celebrity net worth, between June 2013 and June 2014, the group generated $75 million in revenue, and the next year brought in an additional $130 million. Beyond that, the band's Where We Are tour was the second highest grossing tour ever when it comes to comparable groups thanks to the fact that it took in a whopping $282 million. However, Horan may want to think about investing investing his fortune. A source told the Irish Mirror in 2018, he's simply spending a lot more than he makes. He could end up with nothing if he's not careful. Nile is not making anything near the money he was enjoying in 1D, but he's still spending a fortune. This place is going to be electric tomorrow night. Noting that the singer and sports entrepreneur has lofty goals for both his golf-related endeavors and solo music career. Regarding Niall's solo career, the insider pointed out, it comes with a huge financial burden. And in terms of his solo career, he hasn't had that one big solo hit that any former boy band member needs to move on from their past life in the band. It looks like Horan may need to be a little smarter with his fortune until he hits his next big payday. Check out one of our newest videos right here, plus even more Nicky Swift videos about your favorite celebs are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.